When building web pages, it is common to use a hexadecimal number to represent the color. Now, a hexadecimal number is base 16, and that means each single digit can be a value between 0 and 15. That's 16 different values. So it can be 0 through 15. Well, it's really easy to write the 0 through 9. We're used to those, so that's the first 10 digits that it can be. So there's 10, and then to represent that 0 through 9, so the first 10 values. To represent the next one, since we only get one digit and we don't have any more numbers that can do that, we use letters. So 10 is represented by A, B, 11 is represented by B, 12 is represented by C, 13 is represented by D, 14 by E, and then finally 15 by E. F, sorry. So those are all the digits that can be allowed in a hexadecimal number. Uh, the color code starts with the pound sign, and the first it has six digits. The first two digits represent red, the second two digits represent green, and the third two digits represent blue. Now here I've set them all at zero. That's the very smallest number, right? Zero is the very smallest, F is the very largest. So if I did that same thing, F, 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 then I had the very largest. Now it doesn't matter whether you do lowercase or uppercase, it represents the same number. So now I've used all the red, all of the green, and all of the blue. Let's look what this looks like when we do it. Here's the cal color calculator from Sessions College. And it lets me type in a hex code. So I'm going to do FF. That's all the red. So the largest number I can use for red. 00, zero the smallest number I can use for green. And 00, zero the smallest number I can use for blue. So using that code, FF0000, zero, 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 I get red. And, that, and now I use, I use the second digits that way. And I use 00, zero so no red. FF for the green and zero, 00 for the blue, then I get as much green as possible and none of the other colors. And I can do the same thing with zero, 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 F, F. And now I've got all blue, no red and no green. And here you see the differences. You get red, green, and blue. Well, the RGB coloring that we're using on the web combines red, green, and blue, and that's when you start getting interesting colors, is when you do um, combinations. So if I, so I can go and I can choose different colors, so instead of just all red, I can do some sort of mixture. So I can say, well, you know, I want a little bit of something, three-fourths of the red, and a little bit of green, and um, no, quite a bit of blue. And what do I get? I get a purple color. And so by combining red and green and blue, it turns out I can get all of the colors to be able to, that can be produced on a, a monitor. And so, so it gives me lots of flexibility. There are lots of tools that will help you pick colors. So you can identify what color you would like. And once you pick a color, um, how to adjust it to be more the color you want. For example, here I picked that purple color, but now I can scroll through and see other different kinds of varieties of purple until I get the one that I want to work with. They will also do things like uh, do color schemes with the color. So once you get a picture you want, you know, do you want to get something close to it that blends well? Uh, is there some colors you want it to contrast well with? and what would those colors be that go together. So lots of tools that help you pick colors.